Top 10 Heartbreaking College Football Moments American football was invented in 1882, making it only 140 years old. One of its famous divisions is college football. In the long history of college football, there are some games that fans just can't forget. Sometimes those dwells are intense back-and-forth games that come down to the final few plays to decide a winner. Some games have iconic moments that make them impossible to forget. And other games are memorable because the outcome is just heartbreaking for the sport. There have been plenty of heartbreaking games in college football over the years. And they vary in reasons why. Sometimes it's because of how the game ended, simply crushing one team's hopes on the final play of the game. Other times, it's just what the loss means for a team or player. No matter what the situation is, those games stick out in history. That's why today we'll highlight the top 10 heartbreaking college football moments. Before we get down to it, would you kindly tell us what your favorite football team is? A name in the comment section below would just be okay. Here are the top 10 heartbreaking college football moments. Number 1. Wisconsin's Hail Mary Loss to Ohio State, 2011 just one week before this game, Kirk Cousins threw a 44-yard touchdown pass as time expired to help Michigan State beat Wisconsin. This time, with 30 seconds left, Wisconsin led Ohio State by three points. The Buckeyes were on the Badgers' 40-yard line when Braxton Miller heaved a pass towards the end zone. Devin Smith caught it in the end zone, and the Buckeyes pulled out the miraculous win. Number 2. Florida State Nails Game-Winning Field Goal, 1994 Nebraska was moments away from winning a national championship, holding Florida State scoreless in the fourth quarter of the Orange Bowl and leading 16-15 late in the game. But Charlie Ward took the Seminoles down the field and then they kicked a field goal with 21 seconds remaining to win the national championship. The Huskers got so close to winning a title, but their hopes were shot down late. Number 3. The Prayer at Jordan-Hare, 2013 the prayer at Jordan-Hare was a game-winning Hail Mary pass thrown during a college football game between the Auburn Tigers and Georgia Bulldogs, played on November 16, 2013 at Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn in the 117th installment of the Deep South's oldest rivalry. Down 38-37 against the number 25-ranked Bulldogs with 36 seconds remaining in the game, the number 7-ranked Tigers faced fourth down and 18 yards to go when junior quarterback Nick Marshall threw a 73-yard touchdown pass to sophomore wide receiver Ricardo Lewis. The pass was accidentally tipped by Georgia's sophomore safety Josh Harvey Clemens and freshman Trey Matthews as each tried to catch the ball. This accidental deflection surprised Lewis, but it allowed Lewis to catch the ball and to run away from both Harvey Clemens and Matthews into the end zone for the game-winning touchdown. The score allowed Auburn to take a 43-38 lead that the team would ultimately preserve to break the tie in the all-time Georgia-Auburn American football series. His teammates sprinted to congratulate Ricardo Lewis in the end zone. Auburn IMG Sports Network commentator Rob Bramblett exclaimed, A miracle in Jordan Hare! a miracle in Jordan Hare, in utter jubilation. His voice carried across the nation on radio stations broadcasting the game. Within four days, t-shirts were being sold with Bramblett's words, Miracle at Jordan Hare, printed across the top. Other sources modified the phrase. The War Eagle reader dubbed the moment the miracle in Jordan Hare. The Gadsden Times proclaiming the play Marshall's Miracle and USA Today pitching several titles, including Marshall Miracle. Number 4. Michigan punts blunder against Michigan State, 2015. Rivalry games are always crucial to win, so with just 10 seconds left in the game and up by two, Michigan fans felt fairly confident that they would be victorious over Michigan State. The Wolverines weren't merely winning, they were dominating, having been transformed almost overnight into legitimate contenders for the Big Ten Championship. A matchup with 7th-ranked Michigan State was going to be the final validation, proof that the Wolverines really were back among the conference's elite. And with 10 seconds remaining, all 12th-ranked Michigan needed to do was punt the ball and watch the seconds tick away. That final play will go down in Michigan Stadium history, right alongside Michael Westbrook's catch and Appalachian State's blocked field goal. With 10 seconds left and the Spartans rushing almost every player, Michigan punter Blake O'Neill mishandled a snap near his own 40. The loose ball ended up in the hands of Michigan State's Jalen Watts-Jackson, who took off towards the end zone and eventually fell over the goal line amid a mob of players to give the Spartans a 27-23 win, one of the most unforgettable victories by a visiting team at the Big House. 
Number 5. Michigan vs. Penn State, 2005 Whether you're a PSU fan or a Big Blue fan, this certainly depends on which program you ally yourself with. For Penn State fans, this certainly falls into the heartbreaking category. Penn State was leading 25-21 in the fourth quarter when Chad Henney delivered a throw to Carl Tabb, who got out of bounds with seemingly 28 seconds left. But for some reason, the refs huddled up and put two extra seconds on the clock. Joe Paterno was irate. He only got more upset when Henney hit Mario Manningham for the game-winning touchdown, thanks to the two extra seconds the Wolverines got. Number 6. Lane Kiffin leaving Tennessee after just one season, 2010 this moment just downright angered Vol fans, but really their anger stems from heartbreak. Kiffin came from Knoxville with high praise as the Vols were over the Phil Fulmer era. Kiffin had Tennessee in the national spotlight for the right and wrong reasons. They were recruiting well, and the future looked bright. Then Kiffin called a shocking press conference to announce he was leaving for USC. Heartbreak in Knoxville. Ouch. Number 7. Laquan Treadwell injured at the goal line. 2014. Despite a loss to LSU in the week prior, Ole Miss still had everything to play for. Hosting a number 3 Auburn team, the Rebels had the Tigers up against the ropes but lost the game in genuinely heartbreaking fashion. Down 35-31 with less than two minutes remaining, Laquan Treadwell headed for the end zone looking to put the Rebels on top but was tackled awkwardly from behind, breaking his leg and fumbling just inches outside of the end zone. Auburn recovered the fumble and ran out the clock. Not only did Ole Miss lose the game, but they also lost one of their top playmakers for the rest of the season. Number 8. Kick 6, 2013 With a spot in the SEC Championship on the line and an undefeated season at stake for Alabama, the Tide lined up for a 57-yard field goal on the game's final play, hoping to break a 28-28 tie at the end of regulation. What transpired was a disaster for Alabama and jubilation for Auburn. The kick came up short of the goalpost and was received near the back of the end zone by defense back Chris Davis, who proceeded to streak his way down the field and threw players on both teams untouched for a historic game-winning 100-yard touchdown return to give Auburn a 34-28 win. Number 9. Alabama Game Winner for National Championship, 2018 Sitting ahead 23-20 in the game and needing a defensive stand to potentially win or force a second overtime, Georgia's ensuing defense series got off to a great start as Tua Tagovailoa was sacked for a 16-yard loss on the first play of the drive. But wide receiver Devonta Smith somehow got by the Georgia defensive backfield on second and 26, and Tagovailoa hit him in the end zone for a 41-yard game-winning touchdown. Georgia was left stunned and without a national championship victory once again and a legendary career for Tagovailoa was truly underway. Number 10. Pass Interference on Miami and the 2003 Fiesta Bowl Miami led Ohio State 24-17 in overtime, needing a stop to win the national championship. Ohio State was within five yards of a score, but it was fourth and three, meaning time was all but out. The pass in the end zone was broken up, and it looked like the Hurricanes had done it. But a late pass interference call gave Ohio State new life, the Buckeyes forced double overtime and went on to win 31-24. Miami fans' hearts were crushed as officiating quite literally took the game away from them. That's it from us today. Which of the moments we've covered touched you the most? Let us know in the comment section below.